Okay, this is the second violin excerpt from Video Games Live. This is your seating audition excerpt from 175 to 191, and then also 199 to 203. So um, I'll take you through it kind of slowly first, uh, finding all the hard spots, and then we'll play through it together. Um, so 175, you're starting off in first position. Okay, make sure that your G actually rings with open string G, and you have a really close half step with the three to the four. Very typically, students don't get that half step close enough because uh, a lot of times they're playing with flat fingers like this instead of tall. Okay, so that's why it's important to get your fingers up and over the strings, your knuckles over the strings, so that your um, fingertips are coming straight down with the strings so that there's absolutely no space between um, the G and the A flat, for example, between the, the half step three to four. All right, so 175. Okay, now we're on a B flat with a low one. Just place the two with a half step, B natural to avoid the 1-1 one, one slide there. Okay, look for little places like that when you're doing fingering for your own uh, music for school orchestra or whatever. Avoid doing 1-1 one, one slides if it's re repetitive. You know, once is okay, but don't do it twice in a row. Like, so in this case, we do 1-2-1, one, one, okay, instead of 1-1-1. One, one, one. Now, at the end of 176, I have a question mark because it seems like it should be an E, nat e flat but um, it's not marked that way, so uh, I guess it is actually an E natural, um, so I guess we'll just leave it, but uh, be aware that that's not an E flat, it's still E natural because we don't have an E flat in the key signature. Um, it sounds weird, but the very next measure we go back to E flat. Now here we do have a 1-1 one, one slide, one, sorry, 2-1-1. One, one. Okay, and then 179. Let's talk about violin technique for a second. This is pretty easy. Okay, pretty pretty easy little scale stuff. But let's talk about your technique. Um, <clears throat> let the, the, the base of your palm walk forward under your fourth finger. So I don't want to see straight fourth fingers like this. Okay, that's bad technique. Okay, my, fourth, my third finger was collapsing. Try to keep your fingers always hooked. And, um, and there's a little give in the hand so that you're moving forward and back. So it's not just, uh, like I said, it's not just like this because that puts a lot of strain on um, the fourth finger and on your wrist. So if you let it walk forward, the wrist is straight. Don't bend it out. That, that makes it too hard to get the fourth finger curved. So keep the, the hand completely in a straight line. Like, like I can put my bow from my elbow to the back of my knuckles and the hand just kind of walks forward to help you get up to that fourth finger. Okay, so um, all the fingers should be curved at all times. Okay, you can practice that. This is um, this is great. Uh, this is right out of shradi exercises or sub check. Um, if you don't know what those are, <laughs> um, try to look them up because these are great technical things. Or um, you remember uh, Mrs. Patterson's warm up exercise. <laughs> Okay, so please do that. That This is exactly why we practice that kind of technique. All right, so here we are at 179. This is not hard music. Okay, we got the idea. Watch the B flat in this measure. Okay, then we have... Okay, it's just a scale up. You're going to shift. I didn't write the shift, but you're going to shift on the A. Okay, and there are six notes there, so think of it as two triplets, da 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 um, might help you to, to place them uh, accurately. Now we're jumping from third position to fourth position, okay, uh, from a D to a D. Um, if you can imagine where your first finger is in third position, that first finger is going across to the G string and up a whole step, okay, so you're jumping basically a whole step, uh, but also crossing four strings, <laughs> that gets easy. Okay, so you might want to practice that shift a bunch of times. It's because it's hard. Sorry. I would have to practice that a bunch of times. Okay, so here we are at 183. And you're in fourth position, and the fingering should work. So I hope you understand that you just stay right in position. And this is, the bow technique here is heavy off at the frog. And by the way, F natural is a half step from second finger E, so it's a low three. Uh, yeah, low three. My kids are dancing to that part. Um, and then at 190, we're back to first position. Okay, and if you'd like to finish off with the F, um, that's fine to measure 191 for the audition. Now, skipping to 199, 
So um, we're in second position now. Um, and just a word about choosing fingerings. Um, obviously, I put the fingerings in the part for you. I did the thinking for you. But I want you to look for places like this in your orchestra music, in your solo music, whatever you happen to be playing. Um, the goal is always to find fingering that um, will allow you to stay in, in one position um, for the entire pattern. So. Uh, um, you want to avoid doing string crossings or, or shifts in the middle of a pattern. So for example, if we started, if we played this whole thing in first position, we would have this. Sorry. Okay, we have that string crossing to B flat and that would be awkward. Um, so um, third position would also not be a good choice here. Because you'd have to be crossing to the fourth finger. Jack, go away. <laughs> Jack is distracting me. Um, Okay, so second position works beautifully. Okay, now from that G, we're going up a half step from G to first finger in fourth position. Okay, and in each of these patterns, we have a half step from the two to the three. So it's this finger pattern with a whole step here, half step here. So, um, so all you have to do is find where the one is in each of the positions. So we're in second position, and then we're in fourth position, then we're in second position again, and then we're back to first position. Okay, but each time we just play that that one two three four three two one pattern with half step from the two to the three. Okay, so here's one ninety one slowly. Shift up to the half step one. Back to second position one. First position one. So that's the whole thing slowly. I'll start back at 175, playing it um, straight through without pausing. So here's 175. One and two and ready, go. Okay, and that is your excerpt. Good luck.